Hello, everyone. I'm Professor Lauren Chang from National Central University in Taiwan, or NCU for short. We've been a member of the Inspire Consortium since 2015. Our university traces its history in Taiwan back to the International Geophysical Year of 1957-1958 that saw the first artificial satellites launched to explore the near-Earth space environment. We had a strong focus on research in the geosciences with space physics and satellite remote sensing in particular being points of intense research and development. We had several decades of experience developing scientific instruments for flight aboard sounding rockets and satellites to study the Earth's ionosphere. Joining the INSPIRE Consortium in 2015 was instrumental in helping us grow from our past experiences in payload and instrumentation development to the design, development, and operation of small satellites for science missions. With our partners in INSPIRE, we've worked on the joint development of seven small satellite missions to date to execute science missions proposed by our member institutions. One of our contributions to the INSPIRE program has been the Compact Ionospheric Probe, or CIP for short, which is an in-situ plasma sensor which was developed at NCU with flight heritage from the Formosat 5 Large Satellite Advanced Ionospheric Probe. CIP is currently flying aboard InspireSat 1, Arcade or InspireSat 4, Scion X, InspireSat 6, as well as IdeaSat or InspireSat 2. IdeaSat is a 3U CubeSat and is also the very first spacecraft developed by NCU from the time period between 2017 and 2020. Working on IdeaSat has been a valuable experience for us, and we've benefited greatly from our consultations and collaborations with our other Inspire partner institutions. Through the development of IdeaSat, we've been able to build spaceflight capacity here at NCU, both in terms of spacecraft engineering expertise, ground facilities, and also integration and test methodologies. This has provided us with an unparalleled hands-on learning experience for our students in our newly established space science and engineering department, as well as for ourselves as faculty members, researchers, and users of satellite data. We completed the integration and testing of IdeaSat in November 2020. The spacecraft was delivered to the launch services provider and integrated with the deployment module and later the uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle um, in early December 2020. The uh, spacecraft is currently scheduled to be launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 flight from uh, Kennedy Space Center in Florida on January 14th, 2021, which is coincidentally is also the same flight as um, the launch of UVSQSAT Inspire Sat 5. So through Inspire, we've been able to develop spaceflight capacity at multiple institutions around the world, as well as the manpower and expertise needed. We've also developed a network of VHF, UHF, S-band, X-band uh, satellite ground stations and tracking facilities that can be used to support current and future missions. This greatly expands our joint tracking, telemetry, and communications capacity for this purpose. As we move forward, there are seven InspireSat missions that are currently funded and in various stages of execution led by our institutions from around the world. We look forward here at NCU to contributing our experiences and capabilities with our other partners of, in the Inspire Consortium on these new and exciting missions as we continue to utilize small satellites for both science and educational capacity building purposes. Thank you.